welcome to yet another mind blowing episode of the serial designer and i am architect devanshi choksi your host and i am here to share five architectural practices which are must follow in the year 2024 so stay stay tuned for the entire episode but before that make sure you hit the subscribe button and you know just flood the comments with the comment section so that you know i can always come up with newer things also 2024 year we have a lot of new things planned So stay tuned. We have a couple of podcasts coming up. We have a few informative videos. Please stay tuned for the entire episode. Thank you. You know, architecture is not only to do with the you know a space, an exterior space, a building. It's more to do with the upbringing of the society, upbringing of the open space. how do you deal with open spaces how do you deal with uh, what is the relationship between a human and their built environment i think architecture is more to do with that thought so let's get started with five architectural practices which must follow in the year 2024 first one being the big group that is the bihar ke engels group and this is led by a dutch architect his uh, you know his method of uh, representing his drawings is one of his major fortes and i think not only uh, architects or interior designers i think graphic designers or web developers you know they should also be following his work because his website is just a treat to watch and you know the way his elevations the way his sections the way his concept development has been uh, you know uh, it's a very nice storytelling way so i think every one of us should you know just have a look at how he develops his concept and just gets going and uh, you know also uh, they have a group of urbanists they have a group of researchers landscape architects all working together and the studio is based in denmark and new york so yeah it's a must follow uh, visual communication is one thing graphical representation is one thing which we designers uh, you know need it so i think this is a very good website to just have a look and go through the interface of the website to see all the drawings and the projects range from extremely small scale design competitions to small pavilions uh two large scale acres and acres of land which is designed so you know the range of um, the uh, architectural projects is huge and uh, he's one of the mind blowing architects this century has seen so i think you all should definitely have a look next up we have mad architects which is led by ma yang song and uh, he's based in beijing in china the brand ethos is such that it draws inspiration from nature a very emotional and a very spiritual uh, you know a bringing that the brand gives you you know the human nature along with its environment the built environment and it talks about sustainability they have a lot of use of uh, you know organic forms you know forms derived organic forms are which are forms which are derived from you know biological environment which is around us say for example trees leaves fishes all these are biological things and uh, even the website is really interesting to watch it's a treat to watch and you know you can just go and have a look anybody who's into biophilia anybody who's uh, you know doing a project on uh, say something to do with planters or sustainability greenhouses or organic forms so i think uh, this website is a must must look for them moving on we have uh, selga scano spain and uh, you know the architect uh, the architects reside in madrid and the studios in madrid and uh, i think more than their practice the office itself is a very beautiful structure it is designed by ivan ban again ivan ban you can always google him and uh, you know he's a mind blowing architect as well so uh, you know uh, the office is made in such a way that it's like this rectangular tube like structure you know made with translucent material that is visible from both the sides and it's placed right in the middle of the forest like submerged into the ground so it's like you know uh, because i think the simple brief was to just you know connect with nature like work while you are connecting with nature so i think that's a very uh, you know different approach which you can you know go forward in your design as well you know uh, dealing with immersive experiences and you know the project ethos is also such the architects also have this in mind that you know you should be always connected to nature so their projects revolve around that but their own architectural office is you know something to really watch for a very unconventional way of building very unconventional way of working so i think that is one uh, project which you can follow and connect to the website as well and uh, next up we have uh, superflux india and in uk 
and uh, i think this project this is not a particularly an architectural studio it's like an interdisciplinary studio wherein they talk of technology they talk of uh, you know uh, solving basic human problems uh, you know uh, through ai as well so the studio foresees the future so what uh, you know 10 years down the line 15 years down the line what would be the problems what would be the technological problem what would be the you know world problems what would be ecological or climatically based problems so it sort of you know they work on ai uh, so this is this what i'm talking about is something called a speculative design wherein you know they design drones they design uh, care technologies they design uh, you know connecting people technologies and how can we connect to the uh, climate and you know how can we safeguard what to expect when you are like 20 years down the line 25 years down the line so more than an architectural practice it's more to do with a society practice ke aaj se maybe 15 20 saal baad what would you expect to live in a society so i think they are working on which is called as this uh, speculative design and with the help of ai they are you know making new uh, you know getting new solutions and building new things which probably will be used like uh, you know maybe 5 or 10 years down the line so i think it's a very interesting uh, website to just watch if so if you're more into these futuristic ideas you know future thinking ki maybe aaj se 10 saal baad kya hoga 15 saal baad kya hoga so you know this website is like you know you can just go and have a look and uh, you know they've taken part in a lot of binales as well so up uh, you know you can read blogs and articles about the same last but not the least we have a uh, rom labor germany so again it's a collective of architects it's not only like a single person you know collective of architects is in such a way they build very temporary structures they don't build like hardcore structures so it's more like an architectural intervention matlab already one city is there or maybe a landscape is there they make small minor changes which is called as interventions and uh, they sort of you know uh, bring out the best of that particular space so what these collective of architects do is they work with local artists local craftsmen uh, local uh, you know designers and artists around they all gather them and uh, they are a part of the project to make that particular to make their particular public place you know a hit so i think uh, uh, you know projects uh, or spaces which are you know ghosted out or which are not used so these architects what they do is they go there and they sort of you know bring life to that place they sort of make festivals so you know you must have read a, lo- a lot about festivals in binales in um, exhibits that you know uh, projects which bring out the best of humans uh, projects which you know gather humans pavilions ho gaya ya fir you know temporary structures exhibitions art galleries uh, you know small music festivals so i think they intervene in a public space in such a way that that public space becomes a lively space you know it is not only uh, you know limited to germany not only limited to berlin it is in australia austria as well so you know different cities have their own rom labors so i think uh, you can definitely you know have a look at this and uh, well if you're looking up for temporary structures this website is a must so summing it down for you we have uh, five architectural practices which are very very important when it comes to understanding and if you if you go to see all these five practices are very different from each other so these studios so i think it's more to do with the space to more to do with the human interaction with its you know built environment so i think these five architectural practices are very well doing that let me know in the comment section as to what are the topics you want me to cover make sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, get all the necessary updates about podcasts and informative videos as well also i'm here to solve your doubts so please drop in any time and i'll get back to you thank you